Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back for another play in my uh, messy journal. This is for the prompts. It's on Instagram and it's hashtag get messy me. And today I'm going to do adventure. So nice blank page and I have my colour craft brusho, brusho, brusho brush colours. I've had these many years and hardly used them so I thought it's time to get messy so let's have a go with these. Um, I've got sandstone, burnt sienna, ost blue and lime green. So you just punch a little hole in the top. Um, I had a little go to see what the colours were like on this napkin <laughs> and I, I thought oh well, that could be quite interesting and uh, and you just um, make them work by adding some water so for my focal point for adventure let me move them to the side I have a steampunky style hot air balloon and a little hot air balloon um, what could be more adventurous than a hot air balloon? Never in a million years would I go in a hot air balloon, but I do think it would be quite an adventure if I did. I would be terrified, but it would be an adventure. These were fussy cut from the um, Vagabond range from Stamperia. Stamperia? Yeah, so I'm trying to decide whether I want to stick them down and then use my brushes or do the background and then stick that down. I think I'm going to do the background first. So I think what we will do is we will use the blue first. Why not? And I think as far as I can remember, just put some of the powder on the page and then you get your little oh whoa squirty thing of water and let's just in fact let's just go for it because this is messy this is messy Mon not messy Monday messy me And let's have a little more of the blue down here. Let's see how that goes. Well, that's quite vibrant, isn't it? Let's hold it up and let some of them merge in and we'll get some drips. That's quite cool. I'm just going to get some excess off of the edges. Now I'm wondering if I need to give this a bit of a blast with the heat gun. Oh wow, it looks like some sort of storms going on in the background of the the hot air balloon. Let me just move them out the way and I think we'll give this a blast. Although it's drying off quite easily with the, I don't want to lift the vibrant colour off but if I give it a blast with the heat gun I would lose the vibrancy of the wetness anyway wouldn't I? I think I'm going to just go for it, get these down. I'm going to put one there and then this one is a way in the distance there. Right, I'm just going to use my glue stick, which is a prit stick. So I've fallen quite far behind with this, but it doesn't matter. 
It's just a bit of fun, a bit of messy fun. About there, I think. And then I did wonder if that would stick to that. But that's really just kind of like, it's really like little paint particles, which come to life when you add the water. So I'm guessing it's like kind of watercolour. It doesn't actually say on what is at what's in it. It doesn't tell you on the little tubs. I've had them a long time. There we are. What do you think? quite like that you'll go through the book and then you'll have to turn the book that way to see um, what's happening. <laughs> or, or else you'll go through the book and go, why did you put that hot air balloon on that page sideways? So I've got my watercolour pencils here and I've got this, which kind of obvious given the prompt is adventure. But I'm going to use Adventure Awaits. Up here, I think. Yep. There's always just the place that things should go. And I'm going to use my Ink Tense pencil. This is Derwent Ink Tense, so it's watercolour pencils, and this is Bark. And I'm just going to go round the edge here, and this will hopefully just sink the image into the page. And that's what I'm hoping, and I'm going to give it a little blast of water. And I've got my brush and I just want to, I thought that would be better than that. It's not working on the brushos. Maybe I don't need the water, maybe it's just enough to, yeah it's better if I don't add some water and just use the brush to give her the sh so this is like somehow creating a little shadow and it's going to kind of merge merge the image into well I think it does anyway it kind of merges the image in to the background as if that's always been there not sure about doing it. Just need to dry that off a bit. It's got very wet. Yeah, it's better to do it without because the, the, the paper is already wet. Kind of keep doing it until you're happy with the with the amount of darkness around the edge. And I think a little bit more here. I think that's, I think I'm going to call that job done. I'm starting to um, pill the paper a little bit and I don't want to do that. Maybe too much water. Yeah, I 
think we'll call it job done and let that dry. Okay, so let's tidy up and have a proper look. Move away the messy bits. So that was the nice, easy, quick one today. What do you think? I quite like it. I like the the way the it's randomly in the background, and then just one big image, a little image. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that. Whoops! Never mind. That next page will be messy too. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave it with you that way. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be brilliant. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.